Welcome friends. In our last tutorial, we have seen MOSFET and its testing. And in today's session, we are going to see very first circuit of desktop motherboard called VRL. It is a very simple and very very important circuit because many circuits which we are going to see in future are depends on these circuits. Also, this same circuit also present in a laptop. So be careful and pay attention once you get these circuits you will did not find any difficulty in a future so stay connected also subscribe my channel if you like the video give thumbs up and comment in a comment box now move to our circuits vrm circuit what is vrm vrm the full form of vrm is a voltage regulate module its name indicate that it regulates the voltage its then what is the function of vrm vrm generate the core voltage if you have doubt what is a core voltage then i want to give more clarity about core voltage core voltage means where the Voltage is low, but ampere is very high. CPU needs 1.8 volt with 45 ampere, which is a very high, and voltage is very low. But our SMTS generate 12 volt, 5 volt, 3.3 volt with 3.3 ampere. Here is ampere is a very small and voltage is high, but CPU needs low voltage and very high ampere. So we have to do something different for the CPU. So where VRM circuit is introduced, VRM circuit generate the core voltage for CPU. That is a function of VRM circuit. So let's see with the help of diagram circuit diagram. VRM circuit consists coil, capacitor, N-channel MOSFET and VRM IC. There is no CPU needs very pure DC current. There should not be any fluctuation in a current or unwanted frequency in a current. So we use number of capacitor and coil for filtering. In a, there is a N-channel MOSFET for the switching. With the help of switching, we generate the high ampere current. Let's see with the help of diagram. There is a SMPS slot on board, but there is a separate four slotted socket on motherboard for a VRM circuit. Suppose this is a four slotted socket on motherboard. There is a two slot on grounded and two slots are with the supply with 12 volt. Let me clear the one concept that is ground. Some, some are says earthy or some says ground. In American use ground if, but in Europe there is a earthing. So but we are going to use ground. In a 12 volt supply there is a coil for filtering and in a capacitor they in a path there is a capacitor for uh, filtering the current more from this from this there is a n channel mosfet called tg this is the mosfet three leg MOSFET name TG. TG means top gate or some say main MOSFET. This is the drain of TG and this is the source of TG and this is the gate of TG. The supply comes on the drain. There is a diode in the 
MOSFET as you seen in the MOSFET session there is a jumper which is connected to the gate the jumper is attached and disattached for pass, uh, allow the current flow now it is a reverse bias MOSFET once I want to clear the concept called forward bias and reverse bias Suppose this is a N channel, P channel MOSFET. If there is a flow of current from this, it will allow because current flow from positive to negative. But if there is a N channel MOSFET or N channel diode, then current will stop here, does not flow here because it is a reverse bias and it is a forward bias. So when the supply comes from this way, it cannot pass through this MOSFET because of this is a reverse bias diode. So we need to give logic on a gate so the jumper can be attached to the these two points like that. Something like that. Let me clear. As you know, in a MOSFET section, we have seen all, all this. When we apply the logic, there is the jumper will connect to this. So current pass through the this jumper. Sorry. From this to this and out from source. In from drain and out from source. So we have to apply logic or trigger on a gate. So there should be a something which apply logic on a gate. There is a VRM IC. VRM IC. Suppose this is a VRM IC. That is a VRM IC. VRM IC consists of three parts or three chips. One is whole sense, second is oscillator, and third is one is five bit programmer. Let me write. Here is the whole sense. Here is the oscillator. Oscillator and here is a five bit programmer. Five bit programmer, and this is the VRM IC. Now, let now we are going to see all this chip in detail. The gate of the MOSFET is connected to the oscillator to apply logic on a gate. Sometimes oscillator is outside the VRM IC but it is connected to the but gate of the MOSFET is always connected to the oscillator. Let's see what says. When we apply uh, we, when we plug SMPS on board it sends the voltage and it uh, enables the VRM IC. Now then, 5-bit programmer. 5-bit programmer, 5-bit programmer, uh, suppose here is the CPU. CPU. From the CPU, there is a, it, CPU told the VRM IC its requirement, that is 1.8 volt with 45 ampere or something if it is something different according to manufacturer it tells the 5 bit programmer like that if this this is a programmer 5 bit programmer and it send the vid signal 
to the five bit programmer. VID zero, VID one, VID two, VID three, VID four. This is the VID signal. The signal are five bits, so it is called a five bit programmer. According to CPU, five bit programmer receives the signal and generate the signals for oscillator according to CPU requirement. So, oscillator receives the signal from five bit programmer and generate the frequency which apply on the gate of MOSFET like that. So, every positive uh, uh, pulse, the jumper will attach and every negative uh, signal jumper will disattach. So, it, it, this process is very quick and fast. So, the jumper is quickly attached and disattached. It is very fast process. So, it generates the high ampere. That is the switching concept. Sometimes, in a switching concept, there is an extra voltage or extra ampere. So, it should be grounded. So, there is use of, there is, we use another MOSFET called BG. Here is a BG MOSFET. Or some says supporting MOSFET. Suppose this is a BG, that is a bottom gate or supporting MOSFET. Here is, here is also a diode in the MOSFET and the gate of the this MOSFET also connected to oscillator. It also gives the frequency to enable attach or disattach jumper and is, its source is grounded. If extra voltage comes from this, it will ground it. So extra voltage comes on the drain and pass to the ground. From here, here is the output from this. There is a capacitor in a part for filtering. If there is a, any fluctuation or a unwanted frequency in a output voltage, that will be a filter through the capacitor and coil and pass to the CPU. And that is our VRM circuit. So, hope you guys understand what is the VRM. Also, you this same circuit will seen in the laptop also. So don't worry, we also going to see the same circuit in laptop also. This is the basic idea of VRM circuit, but there are a number of capacitor, coil and MOSFET can be vary. There can be a three, four, five, some any number of coil, any number of capacitor and any number of MOSFET. So we are going to see more two diagrams for better understanding in details. So let's see. Here I have already draw two circuits to save our time. Here is a two combination. Here is a two TG and two BG. Here is input from four slotted socket. There is a coil called input coil. From the coil, the so, uh, supply is goes on capacitor called the input capacitor. And the supply goes on the drain of TG MOSFET. Here is the TG 
this gate of the TG is connected to the VRMIC. The same here, this gate of TG is connected to the VRMIC. It is not connected and it is connected to the direct IC. The extra voltage generated from this TG or this board is grounded. So, the, from this source, the output is connected to the BG MOSFET and ground from the sub source of the BG MOSFET, it is grounded. Same here, the source uh, output from the source, which is on goes on the drain of BG and out from the source and to the ground, connected to the ground. And also the gate of the BG MOSFET is connected to the IC. The same here, the gate of this BG MOSFET is connected to the IC. Now this is the output which goes to the CPU from this way, passing through the coil and capacitor. This coil is called a output coil. Same here, the, this is the output which goes to the CPU passing through the output coil. This is the output coil, this is the output capacitor. <coughs> From this way, the supply comes and passing through this capacitor and goes to the CPU. Here is any number of capacitor, so I write 5 multiply by this capacitor, any number. Here is also any number of coil, here is also any number of capacitor and coil. So, there is a another circuit or uh, another combination. Here is a 2 TG and 4 BG MOSFET. 1 TG connected to the 2 BG and another TG connected to the 2 BG. The supply from the input from 4 slotted socket goes on the coil called input coil. Input coil and passes through the input capacitor. Here is the input capacitor. From this capacitor, the supply comes on the drain of TG MOSFET, top gate. And this, uh, the gate of the TG is connected to the VRMIC, this is this way, in this way. And here is the same, the TG MOSFET is connected to the VRMIC. And the supply, for if, if for any extra voltage generated, there that should be the ground gate. So, output from the source is connected to the drain of BG MOSFET and the, from the uh, source of BG MOSFET, it is grounded. It will, same here, it will be grounded to the, from source of BG MOSFET. And the gate are interconnectedly and connected to the VRMIC. Same here, the, so output from the TG MOSFET goes on the t drain of TG MOSFET and extra voltage grounded from the source and the gate of both BG are interconnected and connected to the VRMIC. So uh, VRMIC can apply the logic or trigger on the gate of BG and TG so gate can be enabled and disabled for the switching. The, this is the output which is goes to the CPU, passes from the coil, this coil is a output coil, this is the output coil. From this coil, there is a capacitor called a output capacitor. <coughs> from this capacitor, supply goes to the CPU, that is a core voltage. Same here, the, this is output or core voltage generated, this is the output coil passes from this passes from this way and to the capacitor it filter here and goes to the CPU and that's all for it is a VRM circuit. It is a basic idea about the VRM circuit. Hope you guys you understand the outline or uh, basic idea of VRM circuit. Yeah. In next session we are going to see on more on motherboard with the help of multimeter. There will be more clear clear file to you. So if there is any problem in the VRM section, 
the CPU is useless. So your computer or PC desktop can be in a dead condition or there is some possibilities restarting or uh, restarting within a 5 seconds or OS not loaded or uh, there can be a problem uh, hanging PC. Such type of problem can be occurred due to the VRM problem in VRM circuit. There is a there can be a two problem that is a shorting or dry solder. So we will see later on in a, a practical session. That's all for today's session. If you like the video, give thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more up upcoming updates. And also leave comment for feedback. Thank you.